Well, I wanted to thank Joan over at Joan's Pointed Plate and also Amanda Lewis for asking me to be in this WW Weekend Brunch um, collab video. I am going to do a collab, uh, I'm going to do a recipe of uh, a French toast casserole. It's three points if you use sugar-free syrup, no fat cream cheese, and 2% milk. Uh, if you want to use a third of a fat of um, cream cheese, then it turns into a five point. I can get 12 servings out of it, and um, my family just loves it. They didn't even realize it's a WW meal, but they do love it. But we have it, you know, we have it once in a while. When we have breakfast for dinner, I make it. So um, check out the down below in the description box below. I'll have the recipe for you there. I think I also filmed the, the recipe, so at the beginning of the film, uh, I'll show you the recipe that way too. And also there's a lot of there's a lot of ladies that have done this. And I'll check it out and see if there's something that you can come up with that uh, might please you a little bit more than my French toast casserole. But I have to tell you, we do like it. So once again, I'd like to thank Joan over at Joan's Pointed Plate and Amanda Lewis for uh, asking me in this collab. With no further ado, let's see how this recipe goes. Okay, this is the recipe for the uh, French toast casserole. And these are the ingredients you need. You need um, a cup and a quarter of milk, three quarters cup of syrup. Uh, I use sugar-free, a dash of cinnamon, a splash of vanilla. I figured out that a dash of cinnamon is an eighth of a teaspoon and a splash of vinegar, uh, uh, vanilla extract is a quarter of a teaspoon. Uh, some spray, uh, find a low calorie bread and a dozen eggs, a nine by 12 pan, and a bowl with a whisk to do your eggs. Okay, I'm gonna have a, 10 by, a nine by 13 dish. I'm gonna get 12 servings out of this. Um, I've already sprayed the pan to, uh, so it doesn't stick on the bottom. Uh, I've already scrambled my eggs. There was a dozen eggs in here. And the first thing you wanna do is cube your bread nine of the slices and cube the bread and then you're just going to put the bread in there and just spread it around so it's kind of even and then after it's even you want to take your cream cheese and cut it up into little pieces and then just try to spread it around so that it'll melt evenly in your um your french toast recipe i used fat free um cream cheese you can use full fat if you use the third of a less it's um uh, It'll turn this French toast recipe into a five point per serving. But uh, if you use the fat free, it's gonna um, bring it down to three. You don't really need the cream cheese. Um, you can do without it, but it kind of adds a little bit of flavor to it. Okay, after you've done that, you're gonna make sure your eggs are scrambled and you're gonna add your milk, a cup and a quarter of milk and whisk that together and then after you've added that and it's pretty well mixed you're going to add your um, pancake syrup and put that in there which is going to make it a little bit thicker you just want to make sure it's incorporated into your eggs really well and then you're going to put just a uh, I'm going to put a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon in it. Um, Jim and I like cinnamon, so we're going to just put a quarter teaspoon in. And I'm going to put a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just going to mix that around. And make sure it's all mixed together. It's going to clump a little bit, but that's fine. It'll just give it more cinnamon taste. You're going to take the remaining other nine slices of bread, and you're going to put it over the top of the cream cheese. And you're just going to evenly distribute it in the dish. And then you're just simply going to add the egg evenly over the mixture of the bread until, obviously, you've poured all of it in. And then you just want to kind of smoosh it down a little bit to make sure that all of the egg is in there. 
covering the bread. And then we're gonna cover this with some aluminum foil and we're gonna keep it in the refrigerator overnight. Tomorrow we're gonna to take it out a half an hour before we're ready to put it in the oven. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for uh, 20 minutes. And tomorrow I will show you how it looks when it comes out of the oven. Well, I did forget to tell you <clears throat> that you're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for three uh, for 30 minutes covered in the oven. And then you're gonna take the cover off and then bake it for an additional 25 minutes. It's kind of an important message, important thing to remember. And there is the finished product. I'm gonna cut that up into 12 pieces um, for Jim and I for breakfast. I'm gonna have some sugar-free syrup, a cup of tea and a diet cranberry juice. And we're gonna taste test it now. Okay, there's one slice. How's it taste? Good. And Jim's not on Weight Watchers. Well, once again, I wanted to thank Joan over at Joan's Pointed Plate and Amanda Lewis for asking me to be part of this collab. The only difference I would do in my recipe is when I make it for my family, I usually use a third of a uh, third less fat cream, cream cheese. This is the first time I've used a fat-free cream cheese. It didn't melt the way I would have liked. Uh, if I was to use the fat-free cream cheese again, what I would do is cut it in a little bit smaller chunks than I did. Um, or I would just use the third. If I use the third, of, if you use the third less fat cream cheese, then the recipe turns into a five-point meal. Uh, like I said, it, it did taste well. It did taste good. It really did. But, uh, I didn't like the consistency of it not melting. But other than that, um, try it. I'm sure you'll like it. And, and you, Jim, who's not on Weight Watchers, absolutely loves it. He asked me to save him some that he's going to bring for his lunch at work. Or his breakfast at work. Not his lunch. Um, anyway, um, once again, thank you. Check out the information box below. I'll have the recipe. And I'll also uh, include all of the other people that are doing this collab. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, hit that like button. And share it if you think somebody might like this recipe. So once again, thank you, Joan. And thank you, Amanda.